Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and uh, in this video I am going to show you the next video tutorial of uh, online examination system and uh, in this video tutorial I am going to add a student service uh, class and that class will be implemented uh, from the I student service. So first of all in this class I am going to use you know a uh, unit of work because the unit of work uh, is used uh, every time when we implement uh, any classes because I unit of work actually uh, call generic repositories so student service implemented from the I student service uh, and implement all these functions which is related to the students okay so uh, also uh, if any exceptions uh, generate then use I logger service uh, and uh, in which you can pass student service class i logger and initialize uh, both properties in the constructor so just you add in the as a constructor uh, with the initialization so the first method is the add async method add async i mean to say that you want to add a new student in the class so you can use a try and catch uh, block where student create a new student object okay if you want to add a student then you want to add a new student so okay so uh, vm dot convert view model that is the vm okay convert view model is actually use a convert view model that is the vm pass to the model okay and convert into the model class so await unit of work dot generic repository and in which you can pass students that is the class and after that you had you have to call add async method in which you can pass object okay async method is also used at here and the catch functions you can call exception ex return null if exception generated and after that you have to return vm vmodel okay so that is the pretty thing you can do in your i student service where model uh, in the get all function in page number in page size variable model get all means i want to get all the students so page number and the page size is also mentioned uh, student view model first of all and get all uh, i mean to say with uh, with the help of page number and the page size okay so page size multiply by the page number minus page size i mean to say that exclude records suppose uh, your page size is 10 multiply the page number uh, that is the one so page size 10 multiply by 1 10 minus page size that is the 10 so 10 minus 10 that is the 0 so exclude record that is 0 okay so a list of student view model a data list i want to get all the students uh, from the uh, from the uh, database table so first of all uh, you can use list of student view model and you know work dot generic repository and the student students dot get all function okay dot skip skip i mean to say that which record you want to skip that is i mean to say that we you have a 10 records in the list and you want to exclude skip i mean to say that a zero record you want to skip and take what that is the basis on your page size that is the 10 record which is display on your page that dot to list 
okay so the next thing you can do that is the total number uh, total count unit of work dot a generic repository in which you can pass the students dot dot total number of student get all dot dot to list so there is the total number of students available in your database get it from a uh, generic repository a data list equals to you can make a new function that is the basis on the groups so group list info i mean to say that class info a student which class is belong to so group list info so model list in which you can pass the model list where all the students exist if data list is not equals to null that means of any information from the uh, class which is related to the class so model dot student list equals to data list just assigned to the student list okay so model dot total count is the total count dot count and if any exception is generated then information will be passed to the logger information so just you can use i logger dot log error exception ex dot message and after that you can extract that method that is the group list info okay so just after that uh, one more thing is uh, remaining that is the page list so variable result equals to new page result in which you can pass a student view model and uh, data equals to what model dot student list comma total items that is model dot total count and uh, page number is page number and the page size is also mentioned that is the page size okay so the page result and return result okay so generate extract methods of the group list info in the group list info where is group list info yeah there is group list info in the group list info you have to pass a list of student that is the more uh, in the model list you can say list of student i want to arrange it so according to the class so so the uh, that group list info return student oops model list oops model list dot select and in which you can pass a new student view model mm o dot to list okay that is the whole object according to the orders okay and after that uh, get student details you can call so get student details i mean to according basis on the student id so you know to work dot generic repositories in which you can pass the students dot get by id and in which you can pass the student id so that uh, you have to get a student a student model you can say and convert that student is not equals to null then return new student view model in which you can pass a student otherwise return null okay because in the constructor you have to pass just convert it if any exception is generated then uh, information will pass to the ex uh, exception handler that is i logger dot logger ex dot message and anything exception then return null okay so uh, the get student details is completed 
now what after that get exam result exam result is actually dependent on lots of things so variable exam result first of all make and what exam actually related to uh, so generic repository dot uh, unit of work dot generic repository dot exam results first of all dot get all okay and uh, get all dot to list oops not get all dot where i want to say oops dot where uh where what according to the basis of the student id so a dot student id is double equals to student id okay so that's the exam result which is related to the student id and a student will be get according to the uh, sorry is exam result will be getting according to the student id so after that you have to get students you know the work dot generic repository dot students dot get all all the students you you get it exams what so underscore unit of work dot generic repository and uh, exam results dot get all oops no that is only the get all function so where you got all the exams question answers is a uh, unit of work dot generic repository q and as dot get all question answers all the question answers you get from the unit of work okay so here we have exam results according to the student id students exams and question answers so the required data is uh, to pass a list of result view model in the so required data exam result dot join students make a variable er exam result student students id s dot id and exam result er comma st students okay so dot join again student with the students id is to basis on the join function applied with the exam results so dot join exams exam result dot er dot exams id and again you have to pass erz comma ex that is the actually complicated query i know that but uh, will manage it and in the later session i will explain it in uh, by using uh, ui functions so with the help of ui you you will learn, uh, you will understand very well so don't don't uh, take both directions on the behalf of that uh, exp uh, that type of expression so question answer e x j uh, extends to e x j dot e r z dot e r of question answer id okay so uh, if you like this video please uh, subscribe my channel uh, because uh, lots of work uh, done by me
for you so please uh, like this video and uh, subscribe my channel and uh, please share this channel on your whatsapp on your uh, facebook account and learn many more things about uh, asp.net core i will help you related to the queries and uh, projects but please subscribe my channel and uh, share this video also please don't forget like this video also so ex exj comma q equals to new result view model i want to generate on the basis of the required data just i want to uh, return a result view model you know that the list of result view model i want to get it so uh, the required data is the type of thing so i logger dot again if you got any type of exceptions then uh, generate ex dot messages uh, return enumerable dot empty result view model okay thank you very much